So I have here an official warning, violation of uniform regulations. I'll be subject to further discipline for any further violations. What's up everybody? Friendly reminder that I am here to make your life more entertaining, but I can't do that unless you hit the subscribe button right now. We'll pause the video and give you a second to do that. It is start day and it's a very special start day because today I'm pitching against the Padres for the first time uh, in spring, but also it's going to be the first time this season. It'll be a good game and I'm wondering, is Manny in the lineup today? It's an away game for them. I don't know if he's going to make the trip or not. I'm guessing he won't this early in the spring. However, if he is in the lineup, today starts the mental warfare. I need to reestablish myself in this relationship. There comes a time in every Padre's life where he realizes that his son is now the alpha in the relationship and he no longer is, and that starts now. So, got something very special for young Manny. If he is in the lineup today, I'm going to face him and punch him out with one eye closed. We're gonna start that today. So uh, hopefully, hopefully one Manny Machado is in the lineup. If not, I might actually like throw a whole inning or something just to mess with the Padres with my eyes closed. Not eyes, but one eye closed. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I'm excited to get into some mischief today though, one way or the other. Well, Manny ducked me. He's not in the lineup, did not make the trip. Pretty soft, pretty soft indeed. So far, today's a good day. We got season PRs on two finger grip strength, grip strength, internal rotation and external rotation of the shoulder and jump height. Body's in a fantastic spot today. <sighs> if only, if only Manny had made the trip. Could have been such a special day. Well, now it closes. The two two. Yeah. And the line drives. Near by the Gibster. What's something going on with that right eye? Pitching with one eye. Media members, hello. Hey Juan, can you grab this too, buddy? We noticed you were closing one of your eyes while you were pitching. Can you explain what you were doing there? Yeah. Uh, I figured if they can't score off me with one eye open, it's gonna be difficult to score off me with two eyes open. So just having a little bit of fun. Is there something like that you're looking at or in specific? Yeah, there's definitely a reason behind it. Thank All right. You. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Okay, so three innings, three strikeouts, one walk, two hits, no runs, 92 to 98. Through most of the first inning with my right eye closed. That was fun. Got a lot of speculation, a lot of questions about that, as you just heard. So hopefully that made the cameras and made it on whatever else online. Uh, fun day, fun day for sure. Pretty happy with where I'm at. Off day, time to relax, right? Wrong. I'm going to get a lot of work done. Here's my to-do list today. I get photography stuff, text black tire media, I reconnect the daily heart rush, 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 make my daily measure, and the list goes on and on and on. So far, I've put some numbers together for Momentum's channel with a test that I've been running on my channel on how to grow faster. And speaking of other channels, it's probably a good time to remind you that this vlog will be moving to my personal channel with the start of the season. And I wanted to explain a little bit about why that is. And it starts with why momentum exists in the first place. So I don't think I've ever talked about this, but this is how momentum got its name. Momentum exists to connect fans and players on a human level. The intent is to have a platform where a bunch of baseball fans follow the platform. So players who are looking to create content for themselves and to create momentum for their career, momentum for themselves off the field, whatever, have a platform where they can cons create consistent content and get in front of a large, wide audience of baseball fans. And then their content can move on to their own channels and they can go monetize it however they want. They can go utilize that newfound stardom however they want, whatever. But Momentum exists to help them along their way, to teach them about content, to provide resources for them so that players can actually create content. Now, the reason that my content has been on Momentum's channel primarily, or a lot of my content has been on Momentum's channel, is because that was, it was a test case. It was basically proving that, one, you can actually create a large fan base for people by putting out high quality, consistent content. I think we've proved that. Also, to prove that you can compete at the highest level in baseball while still producing content, so long as you have enough resources around you to do the thing so you don't spend all of your time doing it. Uh, and I think Momentum and myself have proved that over the last couple of years. And that's really 
how it all got started. That's been the purpose the entire time. And I want to give you guys that update because I don't think I've talked about it a whole lot before. So that's the deal. Here we are back at the field and it is an on your own day, which means come in whenever, get your stuff done whenever. So I probably won't see a whole lot of people here. It's a little bit tough because you know, you want to have good teamwork and good team building. And if you're a fan of good team building, you could actually check out my friends at First Star Logistics because they have a fun, fast paced work environment and give you all the skills that, they, that you need to do your job better. And they build a great team around you. So they value people. They're a global shipping and logistics company dedicated to helping businesses do business. One of Cincinnati's fastest growing companies and they offer the highest commission in the game. So if you're interested in sales and want a new job, you should check out firststarlogistics.com or call 844-699-6747. Tell them Trevor sent you. So I just got done taking my measurements for the day. Jump height and all my jumps are normal or on the high end, which means my central nervous system is pretty ready. Uh, my legs are feeling fine. I didn't do a whole lot of uh, you know, damage to my legs, I guess, and my legs aren't tired from yesterday. However, my internal and external rotation uh, of my shoulder is way down. We're talking like 20% down from yesterday, which means I'm quite fatigued in that area of my body. My grip strength and my two finger grip strength are actually towards the top end of normal, which means my forearm is pretty good. Uh, so we're gonna adjust my program today. We're gonna go really light on the throws but I'm pretty much cleared to get after it in the weight room as long as I'm not doing like internal external rotation and stuff like that. And that's really the power of having some sort of metrics where you can judge like, okay, you know, I can do these things well today, but I need to back off on this component. So you give your body the ample time to recover in the areas that it needs to recover. I wanted to share that little bit with the vlog because it is important to monitor yourself and to track things and you know, just have an idea of where the different segments of your body are so you can get the things done that you need to get done that day, but also back off on the things that you don't dig yourself into a deeper recovery hole. Really like extended here and then I would just crank down. Off season after 2013, I completely changed my delivery. Went into spring training, brand new delivery and feeling great. Threw really hard, was pissed that I didn't make the team. And I said, well, screw it. If I'm gonna be in the minor leagues, who cares about performance? I'm just gonna try to get better. So I went in the weight room basically every day, lifted like as heavy as I could and just tried to throw as hard. I was just like pissed every time I pitched, just tried to throw as hard as I could. Month and a half, I sat 96.5, 97, and then got called up to the big leagues got on like a routine, performance matters now, and I'm gonna eat healthy and... Our daily check on Will, the thrill. What's up? Hello. What are you doing today? We are setting up a Sony camera for Walker Buehler's bullpen. Learning from our mistake yesterday, you will be able to see it live after you pitch. Look at that, adjustments on the fly. Love it. Getting better, Will. Day two interview is way better than day one. I love it. Constant improvement. What's going on? What are you getting prepared for right now? You getting, getting ground prepared? balls or? Uh, yeah, all extra work, early work, ground balls. All our infielders come out here early and get their routine in. Solid. Yes, sir. When you get that ground ball, it's going to be an out. Oh, I've seen that already. <laughs> you guys got to be on the vlog, though. What uh, you guys are out here? Where are you guys from? We're from Modesto, Modesto, Modesto. California. Modesto, nice. My dad and I. We used to drive down, we were, we were from Valencia. We used to drive down every spring for about a week. Enjoy the rest of the day, guys. Man, it's good to see fans at the stadium. Perk, that's what you want for hair on the go. Interact and talk to people. It doesn't happen very often these days, but pretty cool when it does. So MLB says that they want players to market themselves. It's great. So I have here an official warning, violation of uniform regulations. Okay, what does it say here? An unauthorized logo was visible on your undershirt during your club's spring training games. Additionally, the belt with corporate identification on it was visible during your club's spring training games. I'll be subject to further discipline, including the assessment of a fine for any further violations. And what was the corporate logo that I had visible, you might ask? Well, look at this. On my undershirt and on my belt, well, by golly, it's not a corporate logo, it's my logo. Wow, a player has a logo and wants to brand himself and can't even wear his own logo on the field. I wonder what they're gonna do when I have my own logo on my glove. It seems a little hypocritical that they would say we want players to brand themselves. In fact, it is on players. The onus is on players to market themselves. And then we're not gonna help you, but then we're also gonna stop you from marketing yourself. This seems really backwards. So uh, this is the first installment of Trevor Bauer fights with MLB over stupid, Uniform regulations. Freaking get it together, MLB. I think this is the earliest I've left the field this spring training. Maybe not. 
maybe not, but I'm off to have a couple meetings. Gotta have some meetings with my employees, figure out some strategy stuff, it's gonna be great. Really excited for one of them, I'll loop you in on that call because uh, we're trying to take some of the uh, metrics that I collect every day and create some decision-making rules and a formula, an algorithm for them so I know more uh, officially like how to adjust my routine every day. It's good to be leaving before dark. Mail time, I think. I think this is the vlog, this is the vlog update. So, I'm fired up for this because this is the Rode Wireless Go 2. That's what it looks like. And what this allows me to do is put a receiver on my camera and wear a microphone and just have it go directly to the camera for audio. So when y'all are watching me out on the field doing whatever and all the conversations that I have with my teammates and stuff like that, you get much better audio now for those conversations. So lots of learning, lots of entertainment to come and I'm super pumped for it. You should be too. Next order of business is calling Tim. And this is a fun conversation for me. This is like really piquing my interest right now. So I take a lot of these daily measurements on myself and to this point, they've all just gone into a spreadsheet. And I look at the numbers and I understand like, okay, when this one is down or when this one's up, this is kind of what it means. So I adjust my program accordingly. However, it's all kind of subjective. Like, I don't know exactly if I'm doing the right thing or not, if I'm adjusting by the right amount or not. So what Tim and I are gonna do is go through and then we're gonna come up with some sort of system by which we can more accurately track what, why, when, how, the whole deal. The idea of this is to ultimately get it into an algorithm where we input the data into a spreadsheet the algorithm spits out a readiness score for lifting, conditioning, and throwing, and a recommended adjustment per that readiness score. So we're very far away from that now, but this is the process, this is the start of the process to get to that point. I'm excited for this one. The future is coming. Hey. What's up, man? Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> no, I, I see 100%. Basically what, you're, what we're doing is we're finding the readiness of sport-specific movements. Okay, we're about to get this shoot with the uh, backstage Dodgers going. Answer some questions, gonna shoot some of the facility, talk about what it is now, what it's gonna be, and whatever else. So we'll see, we'll see what that is like. You ready to go so I can just walk in? Yep. Yeah, you, uh, you gonna fire up the vlog? Yeah, that part was all in the vlog. 